Hello, welcome. In this short video, let us look at an example illustrating the Bayes rule. That is, uh, given two random variables a and b, and we have the marginal probability mass function of a and also the conditional probability mass function of b given a. Our goal is to find the our goal is to find the conditional probability mass function of a given b. So, starting with the marginal probability mass function of a, we have we are given the values as 1 by 3 and 2 by 3 for a equal to minus 1 and plus 1 and 0 elsewhere. So, this is the marginal probability mass function of a and we also know the conditional probability of b given a that is b for a equal to minus 1. We have the probability of b given a equal to minus 1. We have 1 by 3 for b equal to 0 and 2 by 3 for b equal to 1 and 0 elsewhere. And we also know the probability, the conditional probability for b given a equal to 1, that is, which is equal to 1 by 2 for b equal to 0 and 1 by 2 for b equal to 1, 0 elsewhere. So, given this information, our goal is to find the conditional probability of a given b, that is a at b equal to 1. For our goal is to find this conditional probability. So, by definition, any conditional probability is given by p a given b of a given b equal to b, that is a given value of b is equal to the ratio of the joint probability, that is a equal to a b equal to b divided by probability of b equal to b. So, this is the definition of conditional probability mass function. So, now our goal is to find the numerator and denominator separately. So, from the given uh, functions that is the marg marginal probability mass function and the conditional probability mass function, we can easily construct the we can easily construct the joint probability mass function as follows and this is also explained in a previous video. For b equal to 0 and 1 and a equal to minus 1 and plus 1, this value that is p of a equal to minus 1 and b equal to 0, we have 1 by 3 multiplied by a equal probability of a equal to minus 1 that is 1 by 3. So, it should be 1 by 9 and this should be 2 by 9 and probability of b equal to 0 and a equal to 1, the joint probability of b equal to 0 and a equal to 1 is 1 by 2 multiplied by 2 by 3 that is 1 by 3 and finally, probability of b equal to 1 and a equal to 1 is uh, 1 by 2 multiplied by probability of a equal to 1 that is 1 by 3. So, this is the joint probability mass function that is p of a comma b. So, from this we can actually determine these two values. So, for example, for b equal to 1 that is the probability of a equal to a comma b equal to 1 can be determined as follows that is the probability of a and b equal to 1 is given by the values 2 by 9 and 1 by 3 that is 2 by 9 for a equal to minus 1 and 1 by 3 for a equal to plus 1, 0 elsewhere. So, in order to find the conditional probability, we basically need to normalize this uh, function that is probability of a equal to a given b equal to 1 which is what we want to find is equal to the probability of a equal to that is the joint probability of a equal to a and b equal to 1 divided by the sum of these values that is sum over all values of a of probability of a equal to a comma b equal to 1. The sum of these two values is 3 by 9 plus 2 by 9 that is 5 by 9. So, this we have values equal to that is 2 by 5 for a equal to minus 1 and 3 by 5 for a equal to plus 1, 0 elsewhere. Therefore, the conditional probability of a given b for a at b equal to 1 is equal to 2 by 5 for a equal to minus 1, 3 by 5 for a equal to plus 1, 0 elsewhere. Now, from this definition, we want to find the moments of the uh, random variable, the conditional moments of the random variable a. That is, we want to find a given b equal to 1 and also the variance of a given b, b equal to 1. 
So the expectation of A given B equal to 1 is equal to by definition summation of all, all values of A of A times the conditional probability mass function that is P of A given B equal to 1. P of A given B equal to 1. So this is equal to minus 1 multiplied by 2 by 5 plus 1 multiplied by 3 by 5. This is equal to 1 by 5. And similarly, for the, uh, next the variance of A given B equal to 1, it is a conditional variance, is defined by expected value of A square given B, B equal to 1 minus expected value of A given B equal to 1 whole square. We already know this value. So, we have to find the second moment that is expected value of A square given B equal to 1 which is equal to again summation of A square times probability of A given B at B equal to 1 which is equal to 1 times 2 by 5 plus 1 times 3 by 5 which is equal to 1. Therefore, variance of A at B equal to 1 is equal to which is same as variance of A given B equal to 1 is equal to the difference between this value and the square of this value that is 1 minus 1 by 5 whole square which is equal to 1 minus 1 by 25, that is 24 by 25. Thus, given the functions, uh, given the marginal and conditional probability mass functions of two random variables A and B, that is given P, P of A and P of B given A, we can actually find the uh, conditional probability P of A given B and also its moments. Thanks for watching.